Kia ora koutou, right now you're here with Glen Rowe from Land Information New Zealand, Tuitu Te Whenua, and you're at the Mana Marina. And just over there is Porirua Harbour, just to give you a sense of where we are, and behind us is a tide gauge. Now Glen, what's a tide gauge? How does it work? What do they do? Okay, so a tide gauge is used for measuring the change in the sea level as the tide comes in and out. In New Zealand that happens twice a day. So we've got a number of uh, tide gauges around New Zealand that measure that change. Uh, so down here at the bottom of this big tube is uh, the, the water is let into the bottom so that enables the wave action of the tide to be removed. And then some device in the big box at the top here is measuring how that water level is changing with time and it records it the height and the time and then uh, sends it by a radio link back in this case back to the Wellington Regional Council. And it's really cool because on the laptop here, I'll show you that, is the Wellington Regional Council website showing this actual live data being transferred onto this graph here. That's right. So we can see we're here. 13th so what's the tide at the moment Glenn? So the tide uh, so it was low tide a few hours ago and the tide is coming in and it'll be high tide uh, it's late morning now so earlier this afternoon uh, will be high tide. And actually while we're on the laptop here make sure you check out this really cool activity where you get to use data from this tide gauge to create an awesome graph so check it out in the activities site part of the website. Now of course I like to go fishing Glenn so I always like to know what the tides are but the collection of tide data it can be used for a variety of reasons and there are certain groups of people that like to see that that data over long periods of time. That's right yes so we've become more uh, aware that uh, the value of the tide gauge readings over many decades mm. has been showing us that over time the um, mean level of the sea has been rising due to climate change effects. And, and you're saying how much per year? So around New Zealand it's typically about two millimetres per year. So over a century it's about 20 centimetres. Which doesn't seem like a lot but when you think of the whole expanse of water that's that's a lot for that amount of water to be rising. That's, that's right, yeah. yes, yes. And that can have all sorts of ramifications coastally around, around the country. That's right, yes. Yeah. So what it can mean is that if we get storms and other natural events that are happening when the tide mm, is like high, tides and that sort of then thing. the effect, the impact of those events on the coastline yeah. gets greater as the level of the water rises over time. Yeah, and we are seeing that around the countryside now. Hey, look, thanks for coming out and talking us, to us about tide gauges. It's fine. I like to know about the tides, of course, for fishing, but, you know, really interesting to know that the sea level is on the rise. Mm -hmm. mm.